What's going on everyone, Nick van Dutch here, back with another video. I got my buddy Malcolm here joining me again to perform this glitch that has been released yesterday. First of all, I want to say Merry Christmas to everyone. Okay, back to the video. So a lot of people are asking, can you duplicate the Nero? Yes, you can. Can you sell the Nero? Yes, you can. But it won't sell for that much. I'm going to show that to you in this video that when you try to duplicate a supercar, the basic rule is that you can sell the original one for a lot of money but the dupes won't sell at all or in this case it will sell for less than 50 percent so i'm gonna show you how okay by starting this video we're gonna repeat the steps again that comes with this money glitch so i got my friend here in a um, close friend session ask him to join you in the garage you're gonna step into your car he's gonna join you and from this step on we're gonna drive outside so a new step that you can uh, skip is actually here when your friend uh, goes to select a story mode character he can stay on the quit alert screen for a long time he don't have to do anything at all so when I drive into the garage like here I don't have to tell him that he need to step out again because if you're in a a session that is working fine he don't have to do anything at all so he's still stuck at the quit alert screen so I don't ask him to quit actually so when I arrive in my garage right now I don't tell him to exit because when you are in a great session it will only kick me out so he's what he's seeing now is still the quit alert screen he don't have to back out he can back out by now no problem at all but if you find a session that is working for you he will uh, be he can also stay in the quit alert screen and it will only kick me out so okay guys uh, same recipe we're gonna open this door and we want to duplicate this car and yes again a very simple and easy glitch uh, timing is still crucial and important so when I hover over here I'm gonna select three for four and four uh, sorry and five for six but the bad thing right now is um, because the number five car just uh, switch with the number six one I just have to wait for a little bit so I'm gonna recover myself I'm gonna put the Nero back on the number six spot because the number six spot is the car that we want to duplicate and the number um, uh, five spot is actually where the dupe is gonna be in this case actually the original one because when we do this circle thing you will know what I mean so I'm gonna run over the circle hit right d-pad three for four and five for six gonna step into my uh, Nero hold down accelerate and spam the right d-pad so in this case actually my original car will be um, switched to number the five spot so that one I had to find out I just uh, did it a little bit wrong and as you guys can see here I was just a little bit too late on that so it's only gonna give you a couple of seconds I believe it's two seconds for you to actually make a choice and change something on your car nope I didn't so I was actually on time okay sorry for that guys so I was on time and I duplicated this one okay what we're now gonna do is um, I'm gonna hover over the blue circle again I'm gonna change the number five one to the number one spot that is actually the original one so don't forget that so this one the car number six this one is a duplicate and the the Nero on the number one spot that one is actually the original one because the time when I was recording this while I got confused with it so I'm gonna run back to the circle three for four and five for six so always have your fresh allergy on spot number five because that's the car that's gonna change into the duplicate so we're gonna step into the car and hold down the accelerate and spam right d-pad and quickly change something right over here okay I did it on time so it's gonna only give you two seconds again to change something and if you got a lot of time uh, yeah you can change the cheapest one and that's of course the plate but by the time you actually arrive to the plate section it will already kick you out so you don't have that much time to actually select that one okay guys I just duplicated another Nero right over here guys as you guys can see so for the correct information the Nero on spot number six and number five that are actually the duplicates so what I'm doing now is, is actually wrong because uh, like I told you earlier before when I was recording this video I was a little bit confused so the car number two and number six are actually duplicates 
So I'm gonna drive out now. I was, I thought when I was recording this video that this car, the number six car, that this car was actually the original one. But at the end of the video, I found out also with Malcolm that it wasn't. So this is the duplicated car. So I'm gonna bring this car to the Los Santos Custom first. And I'm gonna try to sell and show you how much it was. So I just drove a little bit too far. It always um, happens to me when I go to this Los Santos Customs. So I'm gonna drive it inside this Los Santos Custom and it will show us how much this will sell for. Okay, we're gonna drive the car inside. So it is almost a fully customized Nero. So I'm gonna hover over sell. And this car is gonna sell for me five hundred and nine thousand dollars. Okay, five hundred and nine. So it is almost fully customized. As you guys can see, I didn't put a livery on it and some other things uh, like the wheels and I don't remember even more what I also forgot about this one. But this one is almost fully customized. Again, guys, this is one is the dupe. So this one is dupe number one, and it will only sell for five hundred and nine thousand dollars so i'm gonna drive back to the uh, the office garage again and i'm gonna bring out my second duplication so this is luckily a very short drive for me so i'm gonna drive inside my garage and i'm gonna take out my second duplication so again guys when you uh, try to perform this list and if it doesn't work try to find another session to make it work start a new close friend session again or invite only session but the close friend session works the best for me so i'm gonna walk now to the second car and this one is also a duplication so don't get confused this one is also a dupe from the nero so when i'm gonna bring this car outside it should um let me sell this car for a couple thousand more or less because uh, remember when we switch the armor we had to quickly switch armor and that difference it will actually gonna give us uh, how much this car is gonna sell for so again guys I just drove a uh, one uh, street too far so no problem at all because you can enter Los Santos custom from both sides in this case so I'm gonna drive this car back again into Los Santos customs and I'm gonna show you how much this car will sell for so again guys just to confirm to you that you can duplicate a supercar but you won't be able to sell it that much every single time so when I hit sell this one okay this one is gonna sell for five hundred and one thousand dollars so this one is around eight thousand less than the first duplication and that's because when we try to dupe this car we had to switch to another armor and that difference is also um, the difference in the selling price which you can see here so the difference between the first dupe and the second dupe is eight thousand dollars so what i'm now gonna do is i'm gonna drive back into my office garage again and i'm gonna bring out the original one and see for how much that one goes so yeah you can do it with every car so uh, this car of course has two kind of versions but i believe when you once purchase the upgrade you can't undo it anymore so in this case i'm gonna keep two Nero's. Uh, it's uh, my favorite car it's the best looking car my opinion is the best looking car inside gta online at the moment so for the guys that um believing that uh, yeah wow i can sell for 1.4 million yes only the original one but the other cars it won't sell for that much so that's also the reason why duplication money glitches comes with lowriders there's a reason for that when tito Fossil france released a money glitch uh, duplicating a car he's not stupid he gonna use the car that gives you the most profit yeah a lot of people can say yeah you can use this car why you can't use that car because it won't give you that profit if you want to make money just follow the rules and pick the lowrider because in this case the LG retro is going to give you the best profit there is if that's not important for you and if you like the nero yeah you can duplicate them but it won't give you the best profit so remember that one so this one is the original guys and this car it will sell for 1.37 million dollars so this one is the original guys it will sell for 1.37 million as you guys can see the first dupe and the second dupe will actually only sell for maybe 30 between 30 and 4 uh, am i saying it wrong no it sells around 40 percent of this price of the original one 
So I assume when you duplicate this car, yeah, sell the original one and keep the dupe. So you still have the new one. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I explained it well why you can dupe a supercar, but it not gives you the best profit there is. So again guys, Merry Christmas, thank you Malcolm for helping me out. Like and subscribe, Nick Van Dots signing out. Enjoy your holidays.